Welcome, investors to another episode of The Dividend Uncle. Today, our focus turns to a global real estate powerhouse, City Developments Limited, or CDL. Renowned as one of Singapore's leading real estate giants, CDL's impact resonates across more than 30 countries, boasting a diverse portfolio encompassing residential, commercial, hotel, and mixed-use properties. However, CDL has seen its share price take a dip, to the extent of 25% this year, raising eyebrows of even the most diehard investors. But is this a red flag or a green light for a rare opportunity for investors? Let's break down why this might be the perfect time to consider CDL for your portfolio, especially with robust factors at play in the residential market, a global rebound in hospitality, and expectations of favorable interest rates in the near future. Before I start, I wanted to take the opportunity to update you on Webull's latest promotion. If you use my exclusive link in the description section of the video, you'll get to win 10 free shares, worth 30 US dollars to 5,000 US dollars. Just fund your account for 30 days, any amount. Additionally, there's also a Moneyball promotion where you can earn up to 3,000 US dollars cash vouchers by funding more. If you find value in the content we provide, and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram for bite-sized updates on your favorite write and shares. Alright, let's jump right into today's video. CDL's Key Business Segments Let's quickly review CDL's business segments if you are not familiar with the real estate giant. Property Development This segment develops and sells residential and commercial properties, mainly in Singapore, China, and the UK. This segment accounted for 37% of CDL's assets and 64% of CDL's revenue in the first half of 2023, 1H2023. Some of the recent projects launched by this segment include Newport Residences, The Mist, and the redevelopment of Liang Court. Investment Properties This segment owns and manages a portfolio of office buildings, retail malls, and mixed-use developments, mainly in Singapore, China, and Japan. This segment accounted for 31% of CDL's assets and 8% of CDL's revenue in 1H 2023. Some of the notable properties owned by this segment include Republic Plaza, City Square Mall, and Fuji Xerox Towers. Hotel Operations This segment operates and manages a network of over 155 hotels and service departments worldwide, through its wholly owned hotel subsidiary, Millennium and Copthorne Hotels Limited, or M&C. This segment accounted for 26% of CDL's assets and 25% of CDL's revenue. Some of the key markets for this segment include Singapore, the UK, the US, and Japan. Factors Driving CDL's Outlook Now, let's look at the factors driving CDL's financial and operational outlook. 1. Residential Market Momentum CDL's stellar performance in the property development sector in 1H 2023 speaks volumes. Record earnings and robust sales from projects like Sengkang Grand Residences and others indicate a strong demand in the residential market. With more than 700 residential units sold in Singapore, totaling 1.6 billion Singapore dollars, CDL is positioned for growth in the thriving real estate landscape. 2. Hotel Operations Recovery The hotel segment, a significant part of CDL's portfolio, witnessed a remarkable recovery. The Rev Par, or revenue per available room, surged by 43% in 1H 2023, showcasing the rebound of the global travel industry. With easing travel restrictions and increasing domestic demand, CDL's hotel portfolio achieved an average occupancy rate of 69.9%, a significant improvement from the previous year. 3. Strategic Portfolio Expansion CDL isn't just weathering the storm, it's expanding strategically. Recent acquisitions in Japan, the UK, and Singapore underline its commitment to diverse markets. The acquisition of freehold residential assets in Tokyo, new hotel properties, and significant developments like Newport Residences and the Mist position CDL for both immediate gains and long-term stability. 4. Shareholder Rewards and Financial Strength CDL is not just about growth, it's about rewarding shareholders. CDL has distributed dividends of 32.2 cents and 28 cents in FI 2021 and 2022 respectively, including a distribution in specie of CDL Hospitality Trust shares. This demonstrates the company's commitment to shareholder value. CDL's strong financial position is further reflected in its attractive valuation. 
As of November 30, 2023, it traded at a significant discount to peers, with a price to book, PV, ratio of 0.6. The dividend uncles take. Now, let's talk brass tax. Would the dividend uncle put my hard earned money into CDL? The short answer, absolutely. In fact, I've been on this journey for a while now, having strategically scooped up some CDL shares during the tumultuous days of the COVID crisis, and CDL's own crisis arising from its failed China venture, sincere property investment. Why CDL, you ask? For me, it's about recognizing the robust fundamentals that underpin this real estate giant. The company has weathered storms before and come out stronger, and the current dip of 25% in the share price presence, in my view, an opportunity rather than a cause for concern. For context, during the COVID and sincere property investment crises, there were even questions about the survivability of CDL. With recovery in all key business segments of CDL currently, I find it hard to imagine that the share price is currently at similar levels, if not lower than the share price was then. But let's talk dividends, the heart of the matter for any savvy investor. CDL has been generous in this department, rewarding its shareholders not just with regular dividends but with special ones too. Since 2021, CDL has rewarded me with a total distribution of 64 cents. And here's where it gets interesting, CDL's thoughtful distribution of CDL Hospitality Trust units. It's like receiving a bonus gift that keeps on giving. A strategic move, one might say, adding diversity to my portfolio and enhancing my income streams. So, would I invest in CDL again? You bet. The global economic recovery, the rebound of the hospitality industry, and the anticipation of lower interest rates next year all align with CDL's diversified and resilient business model. It's not just about capital appreciation, it's about a company that knows how to create value for its shareholders, and that, my friends, is a dividend investor's dream. Conclusion In summary, CDL's recent share price decline might just be the entry point you've been looking for. With a strong foothold in the residential market, a rebounding hotel sector, strategic expansions, and shareholder-friendly policies, CDL presents an attractive opportunity. As we anticipate a global economic recovery and favorable interest rate conditions, CDL's potential for growth and value creation should not be underestimated. It's not just weathering the storm, it's thriving in it. Until next time, happy investing.